out there. Ain't that something? Not only is it festive and, and in the spirit of the season, but you know, if I undo this button right here, it also makes it a little bit more scarier. There you go. <laughs> Of course, you got to be careful now whenever you're dishing out the candies to the youngins because uh, you might accidentally dish out a little sex education to them too when they're down on them trailer steps. <coughs> you know, speaking of scary, since I moved to Hollywood, I've got all these celebrities who have bought trailers and have parked around my trailer as well. Well, let me tell you, I got one gal, that Lindsay Lohan from across the street. I'll tell you what, I know she's out of rehab, but every time I go out during the morning to walk my dogs, guess who's coming home? Well, my husband, Duke, actually got a picture of her just recently. Can we show that, Duke? Can, can we? There we go. See, there she is. All the stars want to be close to me. Now, i got a wonderful little dish we're going to make, first of all. I like to call it autumn leaves casserole. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of butter here and then just put it right on in your skillet. There we go. Now, you can either get you some fresh squash or you can buy you the bag of frozen squash. Chop it up in little pieces and you're just going to add it, like so, to your skillet. There we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some uh, some onions that we have diced up as well and put those babies right in there. This one gal one time told me that if you take an onion and you cut it up underwater, you won't cry. But who's got time to put on a swimsuit and get in the bathtub? You know what I mean? So anyhow, I always suggest take an onion and put it in your freezer right here for about 15 to 30 minutes before you're going to cut it or if you got the time, Put it in for a couple hours in your refrigerator. So you just chop, 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 and stick it right in like we've done here. Oh, I just love the taste of onions. Hang on one second. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's so good, it'd make a Baptist dance. And I mean that from my heart. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is add some flour, uh, which unfortunately I ran out of some, so I had to go over to my sister, Donna Sue's house, to borrow some, God bless her. She's a drinker, you know. Anyhow, so we're going to put that flour right in here like so. Just add it on in. There we go. Stir that on up. Now we're going to put in our uh, chicken broth just like this and stir it on up real good. Now next comes the cream. Right on in like so. There we go. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is take us a can of regular old diced tomatoes and we will just dump those right in here. Now be careful now. Don't get that all over yourself. Next we're going to add us some basil right here. We're going to put in some uh, Parsley right there, which of course cheap as well. Take that right there, add you some black pepper right in so. There we go. Woo, I wish y'all could smell this. This smells real good. As my sister Donna Sue would say, it's better than sex with a midget. Next, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get us uh, some rice that I've already pre-made here in a bowl. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take uh, our mixture here that we got, and we're gonna add that to the rice just like this. All right, now we're gonna mix this up real good like so. There we go. Now we got that all mixed up real good. The next thing we're going to do is get us a casserole dish. And we're going to simply add this to the casserole dish. And then your next ingredient, Parmesan cheese. Now you can just sprinkle it on like so. The cheesier the better, as my husband likes to say. Okay, now we're going to put this in the oven, which we've already got going to 350 degrees. We're going to let that cook for about 30 minutes, 30, 45 minutes, until it starts getting all bubbly uh, and heated all the way through, because you know it's already cooked. And uh, it's a wonderful dish. I'm going to tell you what, that is real, real good eating. This guy named Opal Lamb at the Trader Park, this is her dish. And it's fantastic. Cabo, she's ugly as sin, I kid you not. Have we got a picture of her? Can we show that? God bless her, at Halloween when she answers the door, kids give her candy. I'm telling you, she is just ugly as sin. But boy, can she cook. Now, I've got one I've already made. Let me get it out of here real quick. All right, you want to have your little thing. I look like a lobster now, don't I? <laughs> don't crack me open. All right, here we go. Now, don't that look good? Ooh, glory. Oh, that's so good it'd make you TP the pastor's house. See, and now you've got you a wonderful dish for the holidays, regardless if you're serving it at Halloween or even at Thanksgiving. It's the perfect, perfect dish because not only is it good, but you also will have the colors of the season. See, there's some orange, some yellow, a little bit of green in there, just like my sister's boyfriend's socks. Anyway, so I talk at you next time. Love, kisses, and trailer park wishes. Bye-bye, y'all! Yeah.